Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and I'm going to give you the first of two videos on conversions. Conversions are just like regular proportion problems, except one of the ratios is going to come from the formula chart that you'll see on your STAR test. Uh, you have a copy of this at your desk. I also put a copy on my website under notes. Let's try three of these problems. Mrs. Torres is mailing a package that weighs 1.5 pounds. The post office charges by the ounce to mail a package. How much does the package weigh in ounces? Well, first let me bring up the part of the formula chart that deals with that. And you can see here that we're talking about pounds and ounces right there. Okay, let's go back up to the problem and let's make our word fraction. What are the two things I'm comparing? I see that it weighs 1.5 pounds, and I'm trying to find out how much does it weigh in ounces. So here I put pounds and ounces. I know how much it weighs in pounds. This was given to me. So I have 1.5, but the question mark goes next to the ounces. I don't know how much that is in ounces. I'm going to use my formula chart to get the initial ratio. I go to my formula chart and I see that one pound equals 16 ounces. And now I'm going to go from what I know to what I don't know. Well, I know the ratio over here on the right. I could go from here to here and from here to here. Well, I see this number is getting bigger, so I'm multiplying. 1 times 1.5 equals 1.5. And whatever I do to the top, I also need to do to the bottom. So let me go ahead and solve this problem. 1.5 times 16. So I'm going to have here, this is going to be 30, carry the 3. That's 6 plus 3 is 9. There are three steps. Erase, X, and Joy. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 1 is 1. I'm going to go ahead and add these together. And that's the number I get, but I'm going to go back up to the problem and count how many numbers are behind the decimal point in the problem, and that's how many have to be behind it in the answer. The answer to this is there are 24 ounces in 1.5 pounds. Let's try another one. An ice cream store sold four and a half gallons of chocolate ice cream. How many quarts is this? I'm going to go ahead and pull up my formula chart so you can see it. And I see here that I'm being, I'm comparing gallons to quarts, and there it is. I'm going to go up to my problem, and I'm going to make my word fraction. What is this problem asking me to compare? Gallons and quarts. Where does my question mark go? It goes next to the quarts because it says how many quarts. And it told me how many gallons. Now I'm going to write this as 4.5 instead of 4.5 so it's easier. And the initial ratio I'm going to get straight off of the formula chart. And I see that one gallon has four quarts. And I'm going to go from what I know to what I don't know. I know the top row, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. It doesn't matter whether you go side to side or up and down. What did I do to go from 1 to 4? Well, it increased, so I multiplied by 4. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. Now let me go ahead and get that answer. 4.5 times 4. This is 20, carry the 2. 16 plus 2 is 18. Now I go back up to my problem. I underline how many numbers are behind the decimal point in the problem. That's how many have to be behind it in the answer. So what's the answer? In 4.5 gallons, I have 18 quarts. That's what the question mark is. Okay, we're going to do one more. 
The top row of bleachers in the gym is 8.3 meters long. How many centimeters is this? I'm going to cut out the little part of the formula chart that you're going to need. And here you can see where you're comparing meters to centimeters. Oops, I did that last time too. Meters to centimeters. I go back up to the problem. The top row of bleachers in the gym is 8.3 meters long. How many centimeters is this? My word fraction is what I'm comparing. Meters to centimeters. And what is it I'm looking for? I'm looking for centimeters. That's where my question mark goes. But I've been given how long the row is. So it's 8.3 meters. I use my formula chart for the second ratio. So I have one meter equals 100 centimeters. I'm gonna go from what I know to what I don't know. I'm gonna go side to side again. Here it got bigger, so I'm gonna multiply by 100. And what I do to that side, I'm gonna to do to this side. Again, I'm gonna multiply it by 100. So let me go ahead and do this. 100 is longest, so I'm gonna put that on top, times 8.3. This is zero, this is zero, this is three. There are three steps, erase, X, and joy. Eight times zero is zero, it's zero, and here it's eight. I'm gonna add them together. I'm gonna go back up into the problem. I'm gonna count how many numbers are behind the decimal point in the problem, and that's how many I'm gonna have behind it in the answer. And what is this answer? For if you have 8.3 meters, you have 830 centimeters. That's what that question mark equals. You did great.